Hi there, I'm Jessica Guinea Pig, and as you can tell, I'm already a very famous pinup model. Um, what this series of videos are going to be is me showing you how I can transform from something which isn't terribly glamorous into something which is very, very sexy. And I hope to live up to my name, Jessica Guinea Pig. It's like, it's like Jessica Rabbit, but it's a guinea pig. I used to have guinea pigs, but they're dead now. So. This is the current state of my hair. I used to be a redhead and my hair would be completely waist length and really beautiful. And I loved it so much. And then about a year ago, I had to cut it all off and dye it black. It's been through a lot of um, kind of semi-permanent and permanent black hair dyes in the last year. Um, recently I tried to use hair colour remover on it. I used about five of them over the course of the last six months and they did kind of work. They took away the worst of it but it wasn't the result I was wanting because I want to be a redhead again. So I decided that I'm not going to waste any more time and I'm just going to try and bleach it with this bleaching powder. Well, this bleaching kit that contains powder. My aim today is to get my hair kind of like the colour that's exactly what people don't want when they're bleaching it. Like people usually want it to be, you know, this. Colour. I don't want that. I want it to be reddish so that when I then use this red hair dye, it'll get to the colour I want it to get to. Bleached hair doesn't take colour very well. I know this from extensive experience of trying to colour bleached hair, but I'm just going to see what happens. So I'm going to start by opening this pack, and I love this one. I always go to Jerome Russell Be Blonde because. I know how it works and I like things that I know how they work because there's, there are fewer variables and less opportunity for me to fuck it up. This comes with like a little basin and it comes with a little brush which I don't really use. Maybe I'll use it today just so I can say that I've used the whole set. It comes with gloves and it comes with a, a conditioner which like is a laughably small amount even for this amount of hair but like when I had longer hair it does it doesn't it does nothing I mean it's, it's it's not enough it's never enough it's never enough the first thing I'm going to do is be very sensible and put on my gloves oh and I just remember that this goes blue when you do it and that's pretty cool as well so even though I've got short hair I've still bought I've still bought two packs of this like because I don't want to end up not having enough to cover my whole hair because I really will look insane and we don't want that. So now we get stir it all up and it makes this kind of like blue I want to show it but like I'm scared it'll tip <laughs> makes this like bluish kind of paste. So I have thought a little bit about how I'm going to apply this. I know that I am not going to go that close to my roots. So my hair, the, the reason it looks kind of damp is it's already seeped, like literally seeped in coconut oil, which is why it looks wet. But actually, when I tried to dye it red recently, it actually worked kind of on this part of my hair. It just didn't work any further down because that was the bit that had been dyed black. So I'm gonna avoid the roots when I bleach it. It's not because I like this jumper, I don't want to get bleach on this jumper. I'd rather get it on my skin and like irreversibly burn myself. That's fine, just not gonna ruin a jumper. Mm. So I'm just gonna put it all over this, like <laughs> when I part it, let's put it over the top layer. So you know, in the event of like it going really patchy at other points, at least I've got it like properly on the bits you can see, like in this one hairstyle. I like Daenerys Targaryen, but. I've, 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 I've gone through that stage of my life and I don't want to be there again. Just with the hair, not with the fighting dragons or anything. I know people like, people usually like lay their hair and like pin it up and stuff for this. I should probably do that. End of sentence. So I've got a cold, which is why I'm more like, stuffing and so maybe having bleach in the room in a very unventilated area is not going to help my cold. 
Oh, I'll just dump it all on there. I was using the brush, but I mean, why? Why use a brush when you have perfectly good hands? Ah, I see it already. It hurts my eyes. I used to do this when I got home from work, and I get home from work at like 11 at night. And I buy a bottle of wine and do my roots and stuff. I'm like, how did I do that? That was insane. I wasn't like really drunk or anything, but still, you know. Now that I've been sober for <laughs> how long? A year and three months. You think, how did I risk doing such a stupid thing when I was drunk? I must have been crazy. This is one of those things that. I'm very grateful for sobriety because it means that I think sensibly about hair decisions. I don't, uh, so, so, says the person bleaching her hair, you know. Okay, so I've covered like all the main surface that I can see. But what happens if I were to then kind of do a something a bit like this? I don't know. And I get to do that. Oh, oh, I can't get too close to the roots. Ah! You see, it's going to go close to the roots anyway, isn't it? There might just be like a tiny area of my hair that's just going to look really weird, like for the rest of my life, or for the next few years. God, this is going to look, I'm going to be so beautiful when this is done. <laughs> oh. You okay, see, I don't want to touch these bits because they, they already look the kind of colour I want them to be. Uh, just all this stale black dye that's been building up over the last year. The trouble was, I mostly bought um, German hair dye. Well, before October, I spent most of that, those six months in Germany. And uh, I, know, I know some German, but you know, not enough to know exactly what hair dye to buy. So we would say like, Achtung 20 Waschen, which I assume means 28 washes, but these 28 washes are just lies. They're just, they're, they're, they're not 28 washes. You have to, you're stuck, you're stuck with it forever. Even with the remover, it doesn't get it out. Ah, uh, yeah, this is the bit that I haven't been done. You see, like, I'm gonna definitely miss, like, the back of my hair. That's what, in, like, in an hour's time, I'll be like, why didn't I do that? So I need to find a way to see the back of my head. I don't know how that's gonna happen. Oh, you see, it's already got, like, right into my roots, and that's not what I want. <laughs> this is not what I want. It looks grey. Is, is that right? Is it... Ooh. Okay, the gloves are off. Literally. It comes with this handy little hat that you put on your head. For your development time. I knew I bought this hairband for a reason. It keeps this thing on my head. So I'm gonna leave it for 20 minutes and coincidentally, 20 minutes is the perfect amount of time that I can use for my London Underground Mac training. In one video, I'm going to show, how, show me filling in the stations on a blank tube map, but I'm not quite at that stage yet because I've not quite got the order of stations, but it takes 20 minutes to do one of these quizzes. Can you name all the stations on the London Underground quiz? And that lasts 20 minutes, and I am going to start it now, so I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> Cockfosters. <laughs> I'm 31 years old. Right, so this always happens to me. Um, I have got 264 out of 267 stations. There are actually 270 stations on the London Underground Network, but it doesn't count three of them because three of them are doubles. You've got Hammersmith, Edgeware Road, and Paddington. I must have missed like a really easy one right in the middle. Uh, so three are missing. Oh my God, I totally found the ones I missed. <laughs> Oh, I totally found them. Snaresbrook, South Woodford, and Woodford. Yes, I did it. <laughs> so, there we go. 267 out of 267. <laughs> right, okay, so let's see what this is looking at. 
But what's this looking like? Oh my god. Oh, bits of it look really long. Oh no. Oh, okay. That is bad. That bit is so bad. Right, I'm going to wash this out right now. I don't want this to get any... It's pretty good. Like, this, is, this, this should be okay. It should be okay. I'm really scared. Okay, so... Yeah. It, it, it went lighter. Which, you know, is the main function of bleach. So that's cool. But, I mean, you, you see the, this bit here. I mean, that, 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 that is literally... The, the precise situation I wanted to avoid by avoiding the roots, but I, I didn't manage to avoid that. But I did manage to avoid these bits, so that's pretty good. Um, yeah, there are still some bits like this bit here, it's really dark. You know, I just feel like some of it just didn't seem to like catch. I think maybe I just forgot to put it into all the different little crevices. But it's an, oh yeah, that bit is pretty bad too. Uh, but like it's enough that um, when I re-dye, I won't, I'm not going to do it yet because it'll be bad for it. This, this, this has also got, um, this has got ammonia in it as well. So I'm going to wait um, a few days or even a week um, and do these two. So I got like two different colours and I'm going to combine them. Uh, I'd like to say I was being really clever, but actually they, 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 these are the two they had in the shop. They didn't have another one of this, so I'm going to combine these two, that should be okay. But yeah, it's alright that shoe, I'm a, I'm a redhead again, I'm like almost there, my journey is like beginning, but at the same time I'm like, it's so nice having red hair again, I feel, <laughs> I feel really happy. And yeah, I got all 267 tube stations while I was bleaching it. <laughs> which definitely helped with the whole process. So yeah, I'm going to see you uh, another, on another video where I'm going to be doing things, like other things than this, but maybe similar things.